Well, Project Extra Large is now done. It is out of the shop. Uh, this was a very quick build. Other than moving the electrical, that was probably the most intense part of this whole build, to be honest. So all the electricals moved, it's spray foamed. I got my window bar in. I'm allowed a post to post, that is it. I got my gas tank in the back. I got my battery on the floor. And I seen this done at Mini Meltdown. It was done on a wagon. I think it would do a lot more effective work on a wagon. But uh, here we are on a sedan and we're trying it. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna do anything? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try. I have the back dimpled. I don't think I'm allowed to pre-bend, but I'm gonna bring a couple sludge hammers just in case. And if I am allowed, just a couple hits right here to help fold that up. Trunk is closed. Bumper is tied to trunk. Donuts on the back. Doors tied shut, every door except the passenger door. Other than that, she runs great and sounds great. This is a healthy sounding car. Other than the big knock in the bottom end, this is a healthy sounding car. underneath the hood. I just put a radiator back into it. We have an EGR delete because I swapped out intakes. But other than that, this thing's bone stock. I did have a small fire trying to move the fuel filter. Don't ask me how everything catches fire here, but everything does catch fire here. Onto the passenger side, bone stock, no doubles. I have an aluminum donut on the back for weight reduction. Just joking. But uh, other than that, this thing is together. It's running, it's driving, doors are tied shut and we are good to go so I don't know it hasn't been too strenuous of a build to get to here it's just it's just something I'm not used to right I'm not used to these v6s and I'm not really used to these Avalons I will have to say the wiring was really not that bad in this to pull back through the fenders um, other than that everything else is built like a Camry the only things different is the back uh, this speaker deck is huge huge so i'm actually going to try to use the back of this car a little bit more than i'd use a camry i'm really hoping it doesn't go down but that's a risk i'm willing to try to take because this is a bone stock show and the front end of this will not hold up um i'll explain the rules to you guys here in a minute and uh, you guys are probably going to think it's some of the messed up rules that you've ever most messed up rules you've ever heard of so the rules are these cars must be stock and they're going back to their old rules so it's kind of a, a little bit different I guess um, all the four cylinders run together so say if 24 cylinders show up they do two heats of 10 all the midsize so that's the v6s run together it doesn't matter on your wheelbase just the midsizes run together and then they take the top two and then the v8 show up and they take the top two and the guys all go to the finals. So you could have four minis, two mid-size, two full-size, all running together in the finals. And it is bone stock. So I have to leave factory bumper, I have to leave factory shifter, everything like that. I'm allowed to put headers, and I think that's about it. Um, but if you run like a 70s car, because you're allowed to run any year, just no wagons, no Imperials, that's the rules. You're not even allowed to bring like a Mazda 3 wagon. But... Um, if you show up with like a 70s Oldsmobile, you can run this factory 70 Oldsmobile bumper, but I can't run an Oldsmobile bumper on the front of this. I can't even put a Mazda 3 bumper on the front of this. So the rules are kind of all over the place. Um, it's one of those fair boards that should run shows. You don't really don't find them anymore that, uh, that ha is like that. So I'm going to take this Avalon there. I'm going to try to have fun. I want to try to make finals. Last year the rules were a little bit different. I was able to run my last two, th uh, two threaded rods in the back of my Camry. I was able to do a bumper swap. I was able to run a header. I was able to run a shifter. I was able to run a half decent cage. And what I mean by that is a post to post and a driver door bar. That's it. This year I'm only allowed a post to post. So rules change at your fairs quite often. So I got to keep on top of that. And I got to build accordingly. Like uh, this car here is probably going to be ran on Sunday. And I have another car that's going to be ran Friday night, but two completely different rules that 
three years ago were the exact same rules. So you really have to stay on top of the rules. I'm hoping this Avalon does pretty good. I do have high hopes for it. It is a nice rust-free car. Um, worst comes to worst, I'm going to blow the snot out of this motor. And then I can put a four-cylinder in and run it at a different show. So we'll see. Um, I would have liked to put a four-cylinder to this, but their rules are no engine swap, so I can't. So we're going to try that out. But thanks everybody for watching. The Avalon's going to be derby this Sunday. Uh, it's coming up pretty quick. Plus, I do still have to kind of repair our car to go to the Friday Night Derby. So the Friday Night Derby will be uploaded before this Demolition Derby. So stay tuned, guys. Lots of footage to come. Lots of driving to come because you guys have said you've missed me driving. The last time I drove, I believe, was Mini Meltdown, which was a little over a month ago. So stay tuned. We'll be seeing you back here tomorrow.